speaking of Nuestra Musica. You know, the coastal bend is known for uh, a multitude of resources, from agriculture to oil and gas, uh, our military bases, right? And another equally important commodity that is our talented artists, our musical artists. I can name some names like Freddie Fender, Sam Neely, of course, Selena, Laura Canales, Freddie Martinez, Oscar Martinez, Isidro Lopez, and the list goes on and on, verdad? Mm -hmm. In today's edition of Mi Gente, we introduce you to a man whose incredible talents were right alongside them all. If the name Roy Neal Tipton doesn't ring a bell, we'd like you to get to know him through the person who knew him best, his wife. He loved his music. He loved, he loved life. Roy Neal Tipton was born in Robstown in 1933. The same year Franklin Delano Roosevelt was elected right. president. To say he had talent on loan oh, from God is an understatement. Music was his life. Uh, Roy got his start in music at the age of 14, not knowing a single note. Instead, learning how to play and sing and by just play. listening. He was proud of that. He was a proud man, very proud. And his music had to be so right. His piano had to be just right. And if it wasn't coming out right, he just didn't play until it got right. His wife, Shirley, says her husband had an amazing character that would light up a room. As much as Roy loved his music, what made him even happier was to make people laugh. Always ready with a joke and a smile. When Roy performed at various venues back then, Shirley says he'd packed the house. And I was amazed at all of that. I didn't know that people loved him that much. Roy did some touring in his young years, performing with some pretty big stars, including one of his favorites. He could imitate Percy Mayfield. He loved Percy Mayfield. He was his idol because he played with him. Just when he was in California, he followed him around. Roy could have continued to tour and travel, but he chose not to. He had that chance to go away and play music to, to record, but he wouldn't go because of, because of me. He didn't want to leave me here, just us. And he said he would stay here with us, and he did. He, he didn't leave us. And so Roy stayed, choosing instead to perform for friends and family. He was a regular at Clawson's Music, which is where this video was taken. Shirley says that's exactly how Roy would want to be remembered. His music, to remember his music. And at the jazz festival, he went there and played. Remember that. Remember, he, he loved what he did. He loved his music. Roy Neal Tipton left us earlier this year, but he left us with lots yes. and lots of great memories. Yes, he did. And um, he was quite the character quite the talented musician. He used to hang out over at Clausen's, talk to Bubba Clausen, who provided us with that videotape of him playing the keyboards mm -hmm. there at Clausen's. And he would hang out there and just play music because he loved it so much. La música la tenía en la sangre. That's exactly. it, ¿verdad? Exactly. What a proud mom. What a beautiful smile he had and what talent. Yep, that, that was his wife, Shirley, Shirley, for allowing us to to uh, tell his story uh, because Roy did, did so much for our community, played with so many big named 
artists, Freddie Fender, I mean, just the list goes on and on as far as how many different groups he played with um, throughout his life and uh, certainly made an impact. So rightfully so, his story needed to be told yes, on the end sure. there. I love because it. he made part of the Coastal Bend what it is. And, and that is just gift a little nicer. Will live on? They certainly will. Yes. Absolutely.